Good morning, folks. You know what these are. NASA claims they're plain old contrails. Interesting read, link below. We have another case of back to the drawing board, our assumptions and conclusions on old plate tectonics. France eyeing a local stop to this worldwide colony collapse disorder with bees, saying no to Swiss chemicals. This article is very interesting, discussing mega droughts in the Sierra Nevada, a stark contrast to the arc storm notion they've mentioned before. Bit of confusion, people sent me this story from NASA, Daily Mail, everywhere yesterday, talking about the May 17th solar event, so I'll just repeat what I told you yesterday. The scientists shouldn't be surprised when a moderately large flare goes off on an active region and sends charged particles racing towards Earth. It was right on the Earth footprint. I warned that this was possible before it happened, using their own rules, so their confusion kind of confuses me. We had a large quake in Argentina this morning. USGS has it as a 6.0. We had another moderate tremor south of Australia. Japan is staring down yet another tropical storm. Each of these red dots in India is a heat wave, and we also had an unusually located quake in Pakistan. Sunspot number is high and rising. You may remember the Earth footprint is on an active region, and even though these are just little sea flares, pulsing that magnetic tether always leaves breadcrumbs for us to find. This is Artis on Solar IMG. So, Birdman, baby. Big coronal hole turning in. Two solar events to check out. First, I told you that this filament was going bye-bye if you watch the bright region it's wrapped around. It flashes momentarily and then the filament degrades, not likely a further threat. Different story up here between the coronal hole and the huge active region behind it. An eruption occurred moments ago and actually could be Earth directed. We'll have to keep watch. Having a look at the primary active regions on the Sun. Yes, Dave, that is old 11471. It's got a new number now and is growing in magnetic complexity. Gonna have to watch it coming up. This active region up here looks about as scary as an active region could be, but I'm not sure it fully has its act together. This is basically a giant in plain Jane clothing, for now. Mercury headed left, Venus came in, crossed its path yesterday. In two days we have a lunar eclipse, and one day later this beauty crosses perfectly in front of the sun. Eyes open, that's the news folks, be safe.